Your faith, your music, JQ 99.3, 818 with Ace and Sabrina as uh, we get set for, uh, I still say it's a gorgeous day. Anytime that it is. Uh, it's, you, you, I, I like the winks of God's canvas where it's a little sunshine mm-hmm. or you get the rays through the clouds. Those are some of my favorite snapshots. It's going to be a beautiful day, a high of 76. It's nice when it's warm. If it's like this and it's in the middle of the winter, I don't know if we'd be saying the same thing. But nonetheless, <laughs> we're just praising the Lord for this beautiful weather that we have been getting. And as far as the weekend is concerned, Friday through Sunday, completely dry. Temperatures between 72 and 83 for our highs. It's going to be so wonderful. So if this is your first week out of school and you're you know making plans to get out and about, this weekend is definitely something to look forward to. And speaking of being out of school, we have a group of new friends with us, and uh, it's Katie, Maddie, Hunter, and Jordan, and Kennedy's going to be here shortly, but a group of five who've come together musically, and um, I loved what you were sharing, Maddie, uh, about how you guys all met. Was it through church? Yeah, um, we all went to Kentwood Community Church, and we were all in the um, youth band um, for the middle school, and then Hunter and Jordan came up with the idea of starting um, a separate band, and that's how Restless Generation was formed. Okay. What did your parents think when you guys all came together? Like, really? A band? How old were you at that time? Because you just said middle school. You were young. Yeah, it was halfway (laughs) through eighth grade. Wow. And uh, Jordan and I just kind of said, hey, let's do something else. And so uh, we invited uh, Katie to be in a talent show with us, Mm. and we thought, hey, this went well. (laughs) <laughs> and then, so that worked out. And then uh, Kennedy and Maddie were two pieces that really just fell into place and were blessed that that happened. So so what does this mean as a band? Like you're playing instruments, you're only singing. What, what's what's the whole band about? Um, well, all of us play different instruments, uh, acoustic guitar, electric, keyboard, drums, and bass. And then um, all of us, minus Hunter sometimes, uh, we all sing <laughs> at different times and we just kind of split up the responsibilities and switch it up once in a while. And what's the name of the band? Restless Generation. How did you come up with that name? Um, being honest, I was just thinking about two words that would sound cool together, but um, <laughs> it's okay because it has a meaning now. Um, I was thinking about it um, a couple nights ago, uh-huh. i.e. last night, and um, <laughs> and I was just thinking like the word generation has a very like is a very broad word unless yes. the word now or this is in front of it and. Um, I think one of our main goals is to spark a sort of restlessness in each generation that Mm. we encounter with our music. Mm. Okay. Well, and you guys have a pretty cool opportunity, whereas most bands go out on the road and their tours are fully funded based on ticket sales. You guys are doing a show this weekend that uh, will help to benefit something that is taking you out of the country. Now, talk a little bit about your trip, where you're headed. Uh, We're headed to India this uh, end of July, and... We have connections over there because our church that most of us go to, KCC, um, is connected with Youth for Christ over there. Mm. And so we'll be going over there. We'll be playing 10 different venues, uh, churches, colleges, youth events. And we'll be playing some in the slums and slum or some in a tribal area. And the people in the slums are just really hopeless right now. They're looking for, I mean, the percentage of Christianity in India is 2%. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they're searching for something else. And it just gives us such an opportunity to reach out and impact them. That's very cool. Yeah, we do talk um, about, at least today specifically, I love how verses always fit in with what's going on in the day and what we're talking about. And it's about shining light into the darkness and that the two can't exist together. So we'll be praying for you that you're the light that they see and hear. And sometimes through music, you know, Ace, you're always talking about music and how it resonates with you, and we're all wired differently. Mm -hmm. Music, obviously, is how you're wired in in sharing the gospel and getting the word out about who Jesus is. That could touch who knows how many hearts in, in such a way that you may not even know initially while you're there. And so we'll be praying that those seeds are planted and that the Lord takes it from there because um, it takes guts to pick up and, and go overseas like that. Uh, it takes guts to get on stage as a musician. That can speak <laughs> yeah, for that right. for sure. So uh, tell us what's going on this weekend so people can get involved. Yes. Um, this week we're having a concert on Friday and it's at the Wealthy Street Theater and doors open at 645, but it starts at 730. And It's just a benefit concert. Tickets are $5, and we're hoping to get a lot of people there. 
just to spread more about our trip to India. Okay, so you're talking about the Wealthy Street um, Theater that's in Grand Rapids mm-hmm. at Fuller and Wealthy. Mm-hmm. That's such a great theater. Uh, so tickets are $5. It's just the one performance for all of you. What if there's like an encore necessary? Like you fill the house and you need, you know what I mean? We have a little. That far, have you? We have a little something planned. <gasps> you have thought that far. I like All right, it. All cool. right. Well, this morning, get a chance to hang out with Restless Generation. <laughs> we'll post it on our website so you can find out about how to get your tickets. Just go to jq99.com keyword Facebook. 